and we go into the, go into the introduction in this book a little bit here because there's some good information to know about. And here we go from the from the introduction to the book. They inherited the long tradition of Roman tactics and strategy with its emphasis on constant adaptation to the changing of war. It was largely this remarkable ability to adapt to new situations and new peoples which guaranteed the Byzantine military success. Got to be adaptable. The Byzantines, moreover, like the Romans, took warfare very seriously. For the Byzantines, war was an art to be practiced by professionals. They possessed books on all aspects of warfare, which were collected, copied over and over again and read. The fact that officers in the Byzantine army had to be able to read and write by itself sets it apart from other medieval armies. So obviously we do a lot of reading over here. In this tradition, right, this is what set them apart. Mm. One of the things that set them apart was the fact that they read and they collected books Mm. on this subject. Byzantine generals carefully studied the habits and tactics of their enemies, whereas Western knights found themselves at a loss when facing unknown foes. The Western European considered himself a good warrior if he could ride and wield his weapons well and if he showed no fear. Okay, so that's cool. You can ride and you can, you can wield your weapons well and you show no fear. For the Byzantine, it was not superior strength or courage which won battles, but after God's favor, thorough planning and intelligence. Nothing could be left to chance. Maurice twice reminds his readers that the Byzantine general should never have to admit, I did not expect that. 